So while you're walking, you encounter lots of amazing creatures. And here we have an elegant locust. Now you can see, it's got his, his almost his clown suit on, his fancy clothing. And you can see he's not a very mobile insect. So he can't move very fast. And also, if we look very carefully, oh, as he hops around. But on his back, you can see those two little red stripes there. So, oh, wait, let's let him get into a place where he might not jump. There are actually underdeveloped wing cases. Now, most locusts and, and grasshoppers uh, that are very edible have quite developed wings. They can fly distances or they can jump and fly very fast for a short distance. As you can see, he's not very good at moving around. He's very slow, very cumbersome. Let's try to get you guys a nice view of him. How's that? Now, the reason for that, and the reason for his clown suit, is he is highly, highly noxious. Uh, that coloration is what you call aposomatic coloring. And what it does is it warns birds, uh, even other insects and mammals, that might be tempted to chow down that he tastes absolutely horrible and is probably going to make you sick. So they've evolved, their wings have de-evolved. Look, you see that? Oh, that was amazing. You saw those little wings uh, that, that have de-evolved. Uh, he doesn't need them because he tastes so bad and he's a bit poisonous. Uh, he doesn't need wings at all. He can clamber around quite safely. Oh, he's giving his eye a clean now. They are absolutely stunning though. That, that sort of combination of colors is, is very special. Okay, I'm gonna let go of the branch. Bye, mister. That's the best thing about being in the bush. From the big hairies and scaries down to the tiniest insect, there's always wonder to be found.